Isocons are also called as equal product curve. Iso actually means equal. Now we know that iso means equal. So isoquant means that quantity of factors of production which give us equal level of output. That's why it is also called as equal product curve. All the combinations on this curve give us equal level of output or equal level of production and that is why we call it equal product curve. If you observe this curve is similar to indifference curves wherein the indifference curve gave us the equal level of satisfaction. It showed us different combinations of two goods the consumption of which gives us equal level of satisfaction. Similarly, isoquant curves are those curves which shows us the combination of two factors of production that will give me the equal level of production or the equal level of output. In this chapter, we have taken the perspective of a producer. However, in the last chapter, we were doing it from the perspective of a consumer. For a consumer, it is important for him to reach a maximum level of satisfaction within his budget. And for this reason, he used indifference curves and budget line. Similarly, for a producer, it is very important that he reaches an optimum level of production where the costs are minimum. And for this, he again uses two things, isoquant curves and isocost lines, where the isoquant curves represents the combination of factors of production which give him the same level of output and ISO cost line represents his budget, represents the cost that he will incur amongst the two factors of production. By employing two factors of production, the combination of those, he'll have to incur some cost and that cost is represented by the ISO cost line. Let's come back to ISO, let's come back to ISO quant curves. As I said, it is similar to indifference curve. The shape is also similar to indifference curve. It is downward sloping. It slopes from left to right. But before going to the curve, let's first understand the different combinations of factors of production. In the schedule given, we have the combinations A, B, C, D, E. And we have two factors of production, factor act. Uh, factor X and factor Y. Now these combinations A, B, C, D, E all give me the same level of production. Like in indifference curves, all the combinations of the goods give you the same level of satisfaction. In the ISO quant curves, all the combinations give you the same level of output. So if you want me to denote output in this schedule, I'll say at combination 1, I am getting output of 100 units. At combination 2, I am getting a output of 100 units. Again, at combination C, 100 units, 100 units at D and E as well. So whatever be the combination, at combination A, I am using 1 unit of factor X and 12 units of factor Y. With this combination, I can produce 100 units. At combination B, I am increasing the proportion of factor X. 
I am employing two units of factor X and I am decreasing the proportion of factor Y. Now I am employing only eight units of factor Y. But again at this combination my output level does not change. It remains the same. Again at C combination wherein I employ three units of factor X and five units of factor Y my output still remains the same. So is the case with D and E. The only thing that changes is the proportion of factors, the amount or the quantity of factors that I employ. My output remains the same. And this is the reason why this curve is called as ISO quant curve or equal product curve. Because whatever be the combination of the factors of production, whatever be the combination of inputs, the output or the production remains the same. Now let's see how this curve appears on the graph. On the graph, you can see that different combinations have been plotted. This is the point A wherein 1 unit of factor X and 12 units of factor Y have been employed. This is point B or combination B wherein 2 units of factor X and 8 units of factor Y have been employed. This is point C where 3 units of factor X and 6 sorry 5 units of factor Y have been employed. This is combination D wherein 4 units of factor X and 3 units of factor Y have been employed. And finally this is point E wherein 5 units of factor X and only 2 units of factor Y have been employed. Now if you join all these points you will get a curve. And this curve is nothing but the isoquant curve. Now you can see that this curve is downward sloping and it slopes from left to right. It is similar to the indifference curves.